Bye bye. Bye bye. You're going the wrong way. Bye bye. <laughs> there she goes. Oh, in the back. Bye. started. Whew. Morning. Interesting Saturday morning because the alarm was set for 5.30 but we are up at 5.27 to the soothing sounds of... I was gonna say the birds but unfortunately no, the weed whacker. <laughs> the early weed whackers on Saturday morning at 5.30. Impressive. I mean, it is nice and cool out, so I can't blame them. <sighs> I'm gonna have to talk to the HOA about this. There's none. Yes, that was a joke, dude. Good luck. Was a talk to you. Don't you miss the HOAs a little bit? No, man. Man. That one be them come put sign in your door about the yard. The weeds. That literally would take pictures of your weed and, sh and show you. I send it to you in the mail. Are they going to stick something at your door? Mm -hmm. Or if the dog is barking at your yard until I say $50, $50? Fine. fine. <laughs> Those were the days. I go to court. <laughs> <sighs> but yeah, it is a big adventure today. So Sonia has a challenge for you and she knows it. And Dave knows it because Dave and Sonia are going off on a adventure. Adventure to Neverland. There, I see money on the ground. Yeah, no, no, no. Wow. Yes, it's... We are fly outside. Yeah, they're gonna fly all the way down Junction Road via bus to a track meet today. Yeah, and so Dave's gonna do yeah, a. You know what's that? Yo. Yo. Go on, dear. Yeah, they're doing a, an event at, where is it? Jamaica College? Yes. At Jamaica, Jamaica College. And they're going to try and see if they can figure out how to get around the track. Because Dave is running the 800, I guess. And Dave, when you get to the end of the track, just turn, keep turning left. <laughs> Morning. So, they're off on an adventure day, which means I'm stuck with Mr. Junior, hands in his pants. Junior, this. Yeah. And Craig, all day today, and they also have an incentive because I'm probably gonna eat Mother's for lunch because we haven't had it for a while, and because they're going out to eat too. And if their homework and chores aren't done, all right. Are they gonna get any Mother's? Mm -hmm. Junior, it's this one. Try again. There you go. Yeah. I'm gonna get KFC. I'm even better than Mother's. <laughs> Jokes and use. Jokes on you guys. <laughs> Jokes on you. <laughs> it's that respectful, respectful, positive parenting we have around here. Tweedledee and Tweedledeer. Mm. 
really tired of calling him. You don't cut out that. Nope, I'm not cutting out anything. Uncensored, unfiltered, and live. And even, wow, look at this. Oh. This is a weird, look at that. <laughs> Coming out of the woodworks, the Craig. Not even like on a school day. This is never, I don't think this has ever happened. They're excited. Life is going on. Dave's waiting for a bus. An hour in, waiting for the bus, maybe about 45 minutes, and we're having this huge conversation. Craig, Junior, Dave, they're talking about Sonia getting KFC today, and then I had to ask him, guys, what does KFC stand for? Yo, it needs to be a K, an F, and a C. Three words. KFC. Yes, that's good. That's. You're on the right track. Yes, it is KFC. Kingston fried chicken. Kentucky, Kentucky fried, fried chicken. chicken. Ken, or in Sonia's case, Kingston fried chicken. Kingston fried chicken. Really? <laughs> Learning something new every day. Hmm. Fried chicken. Waiting on a bus. Sweet. Done. Hey, one more stop, man. Dave. You look like another year, you know, or something. Dave and Craig, I said to stop. Okay. No, no. Going on the bus here. Taking the bus. Bye bye. Have fun. Good luck. Uh-huh. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. You're going the wrong way. Bye-bye. <laughs> there she goes. Oh, in the back. Bye. That's it. They're gone. About an hour later than anticipated, but they're gonna make it. And I'm here with the other two. Uh, it's gonna be an interesting day. Mm hmm. Pepper Alley 2.0 going strong. I think this is their favorite time of the day. <clears throat> that first sunlight. Man. Whew. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. Everybody's looking good. Now I get to help Junior with a huge homework project. Might need some more coffee. <sighs> Happy Saturday. Good morning. All right, go get the apples. Yep, breakfast is served. Oh, ow, I'm okay. I care of you. <sighs> yep, casualties. But we got one. 
definitely a fan of these apples. The hardest, most challenging part is they all ripen super fast, man. We picked a bunch yesterday, literally. And now we're going to need to come out and pick again. How are you guys doing? Apples. This is like third round. I think this is the last one because it's going off. We'll be out here later today picking apples. <sighs> so as we water the peppers in the the wee hours of the morning, is it no, it's the sun's up. I'm hiding in the shade still. Yeah, so had a <laughs> had a uh, a thought I wanted to disclose or to share with the friends and family. So maybe if if you are a co-parent and uh, you can relate to this experience. So the other day I had asked, you know, this Dave about this trip that they're going on today to the track meet in Kingston, and. You know, I worded the question in a way that left the options up to him. So I asked him, I was like, hey, Dave, you know, in front of everybody, you know, do you want to go alone on this trip or do you want someone to go with you? Because in the past, you know, he's been saying that he didn't want us to go with him to Kingston for the official event in June because he'd get a little nervous or freeze up or, yeah, self-conscious, you know, the classic butterflies, but... This is a smaller meet, obviously, that they're going to today. But I asked him, yeah, so you want to go on your own? Or do you want, want somebody to go with you? And his immediate response, like not even thinking, is he, he turns right to Sonia and said, Sonia, you want to go with me? Or Sonia, will you come with? One of those two. <laughs> and yeah, it was just like, hmm, oh. Okay. And Sonia said, yeah, she'll go. She, she's pretending to protest, but yeah, she's happy to go, get out of the house. And but, but part of me was just like, ouch. You know, like, nothing says a quality bonding experience like thinking you're going to be invited and then BAM! No, nope, the other parent is the, the chosen one for the adventure. But it's kind of win-win, right? So I'm trying to look at it from a co- parenting perspective. I'm happy that Sonia gets to go and I'm happy they get to share this experience together and she's supposed to be documenting this today so if we're not switching back and forth between what we're doing here today and what she and him are doing in Kingston today it's Sonia's responsibility to try and take up the camera today. We'll see how she does. She, she's, she's still adjusting and getting used to being in front of the camera on her own but but yeah I was kind of like Hmm. So I wonder, I wonder for those of us that have raised kids or are raising kids and have two parents in the household, how do you feel when the child, you give the child, not, you didn't even ask the child whether or not uh, one of, they wanted one of us to go with or who they wanted to go with. No, you just asked them if they wanted to go on their own or if they wanted a parent to go with them or somebody to go with them. And then the child says, not you. Hmm. But it's all right. Junior and Craig and I, we are going to have a time at the house together. Hopefully we can, I don't want to bribe them, but maybe bribe them a little bit to get their stuff done so we can head to Highgate and have some others for lunch just because we haven't been there for a while and I want them to not feel like they don't get to have a little outing as well. So yeah, just wanted to share that a little experience like, oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, and now, speaking of caring, the carrots. Fun side project today. <sighs> Our switch to the pump for the water is not switching. 
I mean, it's switching, but it's not working because the pump was on last night and the water came in. And then we went to turn the pump off and we turned the switch and the pump stayed on. Ah. So we are going on an adventure today to try and, yes, I've turned off the fuse for the fuse box. So there's no electricity going to this. But we're going to try and find one of these, replace the wires, and put Humpty Dumpty back together again. Right, gentlemen? Yeah. Yeah, that's our goal for today. Find a new switch. Switching the switch. Just made that one up right now all by myself. You're welcome. Okay, slow and steady wins the race, I guess they say, or the tortoise. I'm going to be the tortoise today. I'm surrounded by hares. What's up, hares? Okay, Craig, we're working on opposites. Are you ready? Because Craig's trying to figure out what the opposite of a lot is. So we'll give you an example. If it's, Craig, what is the opposite of up? Uh-oh. That's funny. I know your first name is actually Craig too, but I'm pretty sure you go by Craig Jr. And I'm talking to Craig Mark over here. But thank you, sir. Craig, what is the opposite of up? Up. The opposite. He did, but you're not even telling me the answer. What is the opposite of up? Up. Up is that up. Junior, tell Craig what the opposite of up is. Down. Down. So the opposite, the exact opposite direction. If it's not up, the opposite is the other way down. We'll try another one. Craig, what is the opposite of left? Right. Good. So what is the opposite of a lot? A lot. Um, a lot. Many. No, that is like a similar meaning. What is the opposite of a lot? <laughs> If up is the opposite is down, left opposite is right, what's the opposite of a lot? Not yet. More. No, that's still similar to what a lot kind of means. What is the opposite? Well, the opposite of up is down, the opposite of left is right. We could, we could say the opposite of outside is inside. Huh? Empty. Empty? Yeah. Well, it's not empty. A lot. The opposite would be a little. I think a full. No. Saturday morning. We're gonna do it. So, what is a rural area? Okay, the kids think we're on a mission to go to Mother's. What they don't know is we're on a mission to get a switch. To switch out the switch. And maybe we'll get to Mother's. And it's always a fun strategy because first place you gotta look is downtown Shiny. And then we gotta look at the first hardware store. And then the second hardware store. And if we happen to get to Mother's after that, we'll see. My slippers. What slippers? Slippers. What slippers? Sugar. Yeah, Junior has a hard time taking care of things, and so he's like, oh, I've mashed up my slippers. You owe me another pair. And I find that just kind of odd. Like, how how does that happen? Yeah, you still got a ways to go. Literally and figuratively, Junior. <laughs> Yay, Highgate trip. Last words? No. Sweet. That sun is hot. Well, it's not perfect, but it does have both switches. Let's try the hardware store. See what we come up with. Sweet. Oh, 
Where? Okay, good news. 1,280. And we got ourselves a real switch. Go to the Chinese shop first, because that switch was like 300, or like two US dollars. We'll call it a backup at this point, but it's gonna be a success, I hope. Sony's gonna be so proud of me. She's gonna come home. I'm gonna predict this right now. She's gonna come home and try the switch and be like, wow, you fixed something <laughs> all by yourself. Well, that's what I tell myself anyway. I'm not gonna miss standing in line at the ATM that's for sure when we get home junior I'm gonna give the whole explanation on how this cow per cow wow how this car purchasing process happened slow and steady man that's the short version huh? yes junior we're going to head to mother's but right now junior all right so you can stop eating your hand okay <laughs> But yeah, so stay tuned. We get back. We're going to do a little, have a little chat, you and I, about how this car purchasing and how we basically access our funds from the U.S. here in Jamaica. Exciting stuff. We may also have this fun issue of kids just walking well ahead, like. <laughs> They know where we're going. Like one of these days, I just want to like, hey, we're gonna go to Mother's and let him just run off and then hop in a bus to go to Port Maria or something. Cause I love this independence they find. But man, tell him, Junior. Fit true. <laughs> I haven't heard from Sonia yet. I hope she's doing well. She might check in soon. <sighs> Mother's. Craig, that's not the entrance. That's not the entrance. That is not the entrance. Goodbye, Craig. Here we go. There goes Craig off to the races again. Where he's headed, nobody knows. I'm commenting on your ability and need to walk so far ahead of people for no reason when you don't even know where we're going. Yeah, but do walk slow. You're in a hurry to do what? We got nothing going on today. No, but yeah, You're right. Slow. Okay, well, Sonia's trained me well. I'm on high gate pace right now. Okay, what are we looking for again, Junior? What are we looking for? Bola. What? Bola. I don't, Bola? Yeah. We did not mention bola. Uh, bread. Uh, hot dog buns. Bread. Oh yeah, and bread. I'm afraid. Okay, here we go. Good luck. We have tested the circuit breaker and turned off the circuit for said switch. Replacement switch. All in the off position, thankfully. Testing the wire. Not going to get electrocuted. <sighs> Deep breath. Here we go. Authentic perspiration later, we're gonna put the fuse back on. Close that. Cool. Yes, living room lights also attached to that fuse. Thank you very much. So good news and bad news. The good news is I think we're patched. Check it out. Light. Cool. Pump. Shh. 
I hear it. We're running solid. Bad. This is like OG, <laughs> OG installation still in there as far as like the piping for the wires and everything. And the new switch has a couple of little nodes on the end of, this is the old one, but it has a couple little silver nodes that stick out maybe a eighth or even a quarter of an inch. And so... While it looks okay like this, we're gonna need some pretty heavy duty silicone to cover up that part. But at the end of the day, the light switch works, the pump works, Sony's gonna be happy, I hope. And we got ourselves a switch again. Having a productive day. Hope you guys are doing well. It's hot. <laughs> So I wanted to share you guys just kind of the journey that we've had in trying to buy a car and give you guys just a, a brief overview of the car buying process here in Jamaica. Um, first things first, you've got to try to figure out like, where am I going to get my car from? Um, there's a few different resources like you can look on Facebook and a few other search engines and social media platforms that have cars for sale. But there's also a website called jacars.net free classified website in Jamaica and that is where a lot of people post their cars for sale people individuals and dealers um, and that's one of the main resources that we use in order to be able to kind of browse what selections are available but also um, what kind of price ranges we should expect when trying to find the vehicle um, so for example when we were looking for the Voxy we literally just type in Voxy or Noah and you can search all of Jamaica, you can search uh, different cer certain specific parishes. And the nice thing about it is, yeah, they things are updated pretty regularly. Boxes are pretty um, common, I guess you could say, uh, as far as being for sale, especially if you're looking for something directly imported from Japan. Um, we wanted to get a newly imported vehicle simply because it's newly imported and you know it hasn't been up and down and all around the Jamaican roads. Not that that's horrible, but that's what we decided to do for us specifically. So that's where we opted to start as far as looking for a Voxy specifically. Um, but the process itself is, is, is quite entertaining uh, because once you actually find the vehicle, then the, you have to worry about how you're gonna pay for it, right? So for us, we have been in the process of um, transferring funds from our US account to a Jamaica account here and making sure that we could obviously pay for the car in full so that we didn't have to um, worry about taking out a loan. And that has been quite a process. Uh, I think I'm gonna make a Wednesday video coming up on how we are navigating and using money from uh, the US here in Jamaica without having to pay extra fees. So stay tuned for that in an upcoming Wednesday episode, hopefully. Um, so, but once you narrow down the car search and you find the car that you want, um, you have to go through a variety of different things in order to actually get uh, that car in your possession. First up is you have to get an eva uh, valuation, not evaluation, but valuation. And once we paid for that, uh, which is like 4,000 Jamaican dollars, sometimes you'll get the dealership to cover that cost for you, depending upon what you negotiate with them. But you get the valuation done and then uh, it basically says your car is fit to go. I know in Arizona they used to do like a safety check or a, a way to make sure that the vehicle is actually operable. So it's, it's basically just a real quick overview of how the vehicle condition is and making sure that it's road worthy. But you get the valuation done, um, especially for direct new imports, you have to get a letter of fitness and you also, especially for insurance purposes, have to get the import documents that verify that it was an actually imported car and the specifics on that. Now, we have found ourselves in a little bit of a hiccup right now because insurance. We've been trying to find insurance from a variety of different companies and um, I mean, if you just literally type in insurance in Jamaica, or car insurance in Jamaica, there's a bunch of different sites available. And we've basically gone through just about all of them, BCIC, Key Insurance, um, even if you have a bank, like we have a Jamaica National Bank account and they offer insurance as well. Unfortunately, it was actually quite expensive once we tried to find that out. Um, 
but um, so we're probably not going to go with them. The JNGI you can see right there. And then, um, yeah, you have to plug in. Then there's really two major types of insurance that you're looking for. You can have third party insurance, which in the US we would call liability, which obviously only covers the vehicles you are at fault of smacking around if you accidentally get into an accident and it's your fault. Um, and then there's also comprehensive, which is um, full coverage, basically how we would translate it. And that means that um, you pay a deductible and the, your car will also be fixed or paid outright based on its value, um, depending upon how the accident happens. And obviously comprehensive is much more expensive for the um, vehicle than just having third party insurance. But insurance is mandatory here in Jamaica. Uh, and so getting insurance is something that is um, inexperienced, I guess you could say, because uh, we've in searching through all these companies, we found that prices have ranged as far as comprehensive full coverage for the vehicle goes from anywhere from 150,000 for the U, uh, Jamaican dollars for the year, which is about a little less than a thousand US, all the way up to over 300,000 for the same, pretty much the same similar types of insurance. And so it's important to shop around for insurance and making sure that you get the best deal. And you can get a lot of free quotes available as long as you have the basic information of the car. The one little hiccup that we have is with the insurance company that we were going with, they sent us a list of uh, approved valuators around the island that they only take valuations from these organizations and unfortunately the dealer that we're working with um, got a valuation from one of the companies that is not technically approved for valuations it says mechanical reports only and so the little delay that we're going to have with getting our vehicle is we now have to explore either we're going to look for other insurance that's a similar rate which has proven challenging or we have to get another valuation done um, from an approved valuator so that we can get the insurance on the vehicle. Once you get, we get the insurance on the vehicle, we take that information and the registration to the tax office, pay some more fees, I'm sure, and then finally get that the car registered in our name, get the license plates, and then we're off on our adventures. So that is the super, super short way to look for vehicles in Jamaica and how we've opted to get ours hopefully in the near future. Cool. The stadium, no? I'm a mysterious. So a smooth start now for section B. Are the boys 200 meters class one qualifiers? Immediately in the center of the track, we look at Bright Beginnings, uh, Jackson looking solid at this stage. On is inside from St. Mary Elite, Malcolm. When they get for home with Woolman's Jazeem, Michael out there in lane 8. The marginal leader. By just at least 5 steps. Okay, look what is in my office. What is it? It's a bird, it's a plane, it's... What? It's you, dude. Please. You. Me? You. Me? You are in my office. This is just a long bird in my office. <sighs> Andre, buddy, pal. You need to work on some classics, dude. It's Superman, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's... Andre, Superman. I, okay, we'll work on that. Anyway, what's up? What's new? I see your white shirt is hardly white anymore. Been busy romping in the dirt? No. What are you doing? Sleep. Ooh, sleep. It's like your favorite thing to do. Right? Man, I have been busy today. What we did today? Yeah. We woke up early so that Dave could go to a track meet in Kingston and had to wait for the bus for about an hour at the end of the road. Then, I had to make Junior a grilled cheese sandwich. Ugh. Then, I had to make some eggs for myself. Then, I had to help Junior and Craig with their homework on a Saturday. Can you believe it? Then, we went to Highgate. And I had to pick up a new switch for the electrical outlet that wasn't working. And, I had to bring them to Mother's so that they could smile because kids like going to eat when they don't have to make the food or cook it or do the dishes afterwards. Then we came back home 
and I fixed the switch and now it works again. Then I was talking to the YouTubers about how to buy a car in Jamaica and then you showed up. That was my day, man. I know, right? I know. How was yours? Okay, glad that's done. Chickens are now going to be well hydrated. Yeah, that water thing, they might hold a certain amount of water, but after a few days with the algae growing on it and how much dust and dirt they decide to kick up into it, you got to change it. You got to wipe it out, clean it out, put some new water in it, you know. That's what you do when you got chickens. Right? Right. Meanwhile, over in Perspiration Nation, Man, Craig here is making something. Craig, what you doing? Make You're making smoothie. What's in your smoothie? Hmm? What are you making in your smoothie? Apple, mango, sugar. Uh, what yeah. is that called again? Milk. Milk, yeah, that was a tough one. Anyway, yeah. Apple from the garden. You don't want more apple than that? We got plenty. In fact, we got to go pick more. They said, we got used to our. Uh, they said, uh oh. Look. Cool. Oh. He's making a recipe from YouTube. Apple mango juice. Apple mango juice. Mm-hmm. Okay. Apple, mango, milk, and Craig's favorite, sugar. A two, a two cool. That is two scoops. Yeah. I don't know how big your scoops are, but cool. Now what? What do you do? See, throw it in, Craig. Throw it in. Very meticulous. Mm-hmm. 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 Now what? Because there's... Apparently there's not enough sugar in uh, the apple and the mango. we got to add more. And add the milk. And then what? Uh-huh. Nice and snug. Oh, you're going to put ice in it too? Whoo! Coming back. One. Two. I don't know. It's living life on the edge here, sir. Oh, you can't take the drawer with you, okay? Okay, ice back in the freezer. Everything's in there. You know what I like? I like how Craig takes the sugar, puts it in another container, only to put it in that container. Craig? Craig? How come we didn't just put the sugar from here to there? Why do you got to put it in the bowl? Yeah, Craig, the sugar. You could have just put the sugar with the spoon right into there. Why'd you put it in the bowl? Oh, I guess, did you see them wash the dishes when they were done? Yeah. Okay. And he's going to wash the dishes. Tough. Hold on, Craig. Craig, we got to read. Mm -hmm. This is where applied reading is important. Yeah. What's this first one? That, that smoothie. What's the next smoothie one? Pie. Ice cream. Ice crush. Ice crush. And the last one? I don't know. You gotta try. Ex extra. Extract. Extract. That means if you want to take the juice out of the fruits. Which one are you gonna push? This Craig, we're asking for smoothie. full. Craig, full sentences. Which one are you going to push? Smoothie. Craig, that's one word. Full sentences. Which I one are you to going to push? Smoothie. So, which one are you going to push? Smoothie. I want to make smoothie. So, which one are you going to push? I want to push smoothie. Good. Three, two, one, go. Uh huh. Looks like a smoothie. Survey says. Not bad. Smoothie. What's the name of the drink, Craig? No, no, this is your <laughs> private new concoction. What do you call this fancy drink? Yeah. 
Oh, hold on. He needs to be inspired. Milk and mango. Milk and mango. So, spoiler, Craig, you ready for this? Did you know that most juices that are like a cocktail or, or just they call it like a fruit juice or whatever have only a little bit of actual like fancy flavor like mango or strawberry and then they use apple juice as like a filler because you can't really taste it too much and it doesn't take away from the other fruit flavors and it's cheaper. Bet you didn't know that. Mm -hmm. you have any idea what I just said? Mm -hmm. Right. Craig's concoction, there it is. Glad that's over. Thank you, accountability team. There's my two-tone shirt to prove it. Another one in the books. Man, you change one electrical outlet switch and suddenly you become Mr. Handyman Resourceful. Now we're trying to knock out all the mineral deposit on the shower head so that it flows freely again. Very therapeutic when there's several little holes. You just gotta use the needle and clean them out. Mm -hmm. Very exciting, Craig. Mm -hmm. Yep. Never thought I'd say I was a handyman, but sometimes you just gotta step up. <laughs> or step out, I don't know, but therapy. Here we go. Alright, moment of truth. We got her all hooked up. How are you doing here? All the holes unplugged. Three, two, one. Call it in. A rain shower. Cool. We're calling this a success. <laughs> Time to do little things in life, like shower heads. Bye, Craig. Keep that belt in your pants. <sighs> Kids. So I think I've finally reached that point in my life where I can question, like, what happened to kids these days, man? They, there's a fun day around town and they want to go to it. And I was like, well, you've already spent some of your allowance this week. Here's the 400 for your allowance, the remaining balance. Well, to get into fun day is $1,000. And they're like, can't you just put some more on it? And I'm like... No, no, I can't. And they're like, why? And then I'm like, because I care too much about you and trying to teach you how to be a respectful young adult that earns what they want, right? Not just going out and asking for it and expecting it. Case in point, I was like, I don't understand you guys. There's such an opportunity to earn money around here and all you want to do is ask for it and then expect it in return. For example, I showed them. I was like, you see that apple tree right there? You see all those apples on the tree that are just going to fall off if we don't pick them? You know, funny thing, I saw somebody in Highgate selling apples today. Guess what they make? Money. All you guys would have to do, pick some apples, go to the end of the road, not make a sign, or don't, hold up some bags of apples and you guys would have some money. And they just, kids these days don't want to do it. They don't want to work. <laughs> they don't want to work for their money. And it's frustrating. I was like, I don't know. <sighs> But no is going to be my new favorite word. I'm going to, slow, Shonia's got the slow-mo no. I'm just going to have the fast pace. No. Like, I think we're going to do opposites. She can draw it out. No. And I'm just going to be like, no. 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 Maybe nope. Nope. Put a little P on it. A little silent E at the end. Nope. Because I'm not here to be a handout for them. And especially coming from where they're coming from, <laughs> I don't understand where they have this entitlement from. But the answer is nope. So, <sighs> pick some apples. Bring them down to the end of the road. There's a bunch of cars going by. Sell them. Get some money. Can I have some extra money? Nope. <laughs> Just wanted to invite you guys to this beautiful, although albeit probably short-lived moment of peace and... 
<laughs> quiet. Yeah, Junior and Craig trying to find a way to fun day. Sonia and Dave aren't back from the adventure yet, so... Man can get used to this. In moderation, of course. Hmm. Okay, so we're heading home now from Jamaica College. Now we stop at KC to go to KC Chicken. And then after that, we're going to be heading home. So we hope we reach home before 10 o'clock. So we'll just hopefully. Okay, bye.